It's Kerry. The sheep and lambs, alpaca, llama, goats. All my chooks and roosters. Can you tell me how many goats in today's video? Peacocks? Donkeys? Geese? Give a thumbs up if you like farm animals. And of course, my two farm dogs. This is Sam, my border collie. They are an energetic, fun dog and was originally bred to help herd sheep. They are considered the top obedience dog and the most intelligent of all the dog breeds. Some border collies are able to recognize hundreds of words and act in response to them. They are very athletic and are often seen in dog sports competitions, especially sheep herding. They have also been used as search and rescue dogs. The Australian Cattle Dog or Blue Healer. The healer name comes from the fact that the dogs were bred to herd cattle by nipping at their heels. The Australian Cattle Dog is extremely intelligent, active and a strong dog. It was bred by the Australian settlers to handle herds of cattle on very large farms. Nipping and biting is a natural instinct and it needs to be properly trained. They become intensely devoted to their owner. The Australian Cattle Dog does well at canine sports including agility, obedience and lots of fun things. This is a dog that needs to be worked hard physically and mentally to keep it out of mischief. The Peacock. The name Peacock actually refers to the male of this species. Females are called peahens and a group are called peafowl. Babies are called pea chicks. There are three types of peafowl in the world. The Indian which live in India, Pakistan and Sri Lanka. The Indian peacock has some of the brightest feathers but the peahen is a drab mottled brown in comparison. The male needs its bright feathers to attract a mate and the female needs to be able to blend in with the undergrowth to protect herself and eggs from predators. The Indian peafowl is most commonly found in zoos and parks. The green peafowl are found in Southeast Asia and the Congo peafowl are from Central Africa. They like to eat grain, insects, small reptiles and mammals, berries, figs, leaves, seeds and flower parts. A group of peafowl is called a party or a pride. The Indian peafowl is a national bird of India and it's protected in that country. In the Hindu religion, the peafowl is a sacred bird because the spots on the peacock's tail symbolize the eyes of the gods. The male's long feathers are called a train and can grow to six feet or 1.8 meters long. Provence Donkey is a breed of domestic donkey from Provence in southeastern France. They have been used by shepherds as pack animals and to move flocks of sheep between their summer pastures on the high Alps to the lower winter grounds. Males are called Jacks and females Jennies. Notice the darker dorsal stripe and shoulder stripe in the shape of a cross on its back. The feet with rather white hooves for those of a donkey perfectly adapted for tricking and heavy weights. Donkeys make a loud braying hee-haw noise that goes on for several seconds. Donkeys eat grains and grass.
donkey foal. It can stand and nurse from its mother just 30 minutes after birth. Females tend to give birth to a new foal every year. Donkeys, which are sometimes known as asses, are related to horses, ponies and zebras, but have much larger ears. Notice the white around the eyes. This is a gander. Male geese are called ganders. They protect the nest while the female goose sits on the eggs. Geese can live almost anywhere. They like fields, parks and grassy areas near ponds, rivers and shore lakes. Geese fly in a V formation to give them speed. The flapping of wings provides an automatic drift or current of air to the immediate following goose. When the leading goose gets tired, another one swaps to the guiding position to give the leader rest. Geese make a loud honking noise, especially when angered. They are omnivores and eat slugs, snails, worms, mice, grains and green vegetation. A goose is often characterised by a long neck which it stretches out when it honks. A young bird is called a gosling. A group of geese is called a gaggle. Mother geese build nests near lakes and rivers. Their nests are flat, wide and made from grass, twigs, mud and feathers. The babies are fluffy, yellow and adorable. Baby geese can walk and swim a day or two after they're born. <coughs> the domestic goat. This is a white nanny goat. A female is called a doe or nanny goat. A male is called a buck or billy goat. Goats are herbivores. They have very sharp teeth and can demolish vegetation very quickly. Their favourite food is grass. Many domestic goats will also eat trash, houseplants or any other items they find lying around. They have beards or tassels under their chin. They live in herds and every herd has a pack leader. Goats are smelly due to a musk gland on the back of their head. A baby goat is called a kid. Female goats give birth to one or two offspring in the spring. Within minutes of being born, the kids are up and walking around. At three to four months, the kids are weaned. They are strong-bodied mammals with horns and cloven hoofs, which means a hoof divided into two. There are two types of goats, domestic goats, which are raised and bred as farm animals, and mountain goats. Llamas are herbivorous mammals. They eat grass, ferns and hay. They only need a small amount of water. Llamas live in South America in the countries of Peru, Argentina, Bolivia and Chile. They became domesticated in Peru about 4,000 to 5,000 years ago and are one of the world's oldest domesticated animals. They are descendants of the wild guanaco. Llamas are related to camels but without the hump. Alpacas are considerably smaller than llamas and have been bred specifically for their wool. Some have a fleece-like coat and others are more like dreadlocks. Alpacas chew cud like a cow, they eat hay or grass and need fresh drinking water. Alpacas are shorn once a year, usually in spring. Their wool is very soft and strong, warm and light and comes in grey, fawn, chocolate brown and jet black colours. The wool is mainly used in jumpers and dunas. Alpacas use a communal dung pile where they do not graze. They will kick backwards if they fear a threat from behind. Alpacas live in herds and bond well with other animals. <laughs> the alpaca baby. It's called a career. They are generally between 15 and 19 pounds or 7 to 8 kilos at birth. They can stand up 30 to 90 minutes after birth. Usually alpacas don't kick or bite but they are very good spitters. 
because alpaca's cheek cut the spit is regurgitated green grass and smells horrible. They mainly spit at each other. The black sheep. In most sheep, the white fleece is a dominant gene that actively switches colour production off. A recessive gene occasionally manifests in the birth of a sheep with the result of a black lamb being born rather than a white one. These sheep stand out in the flock and their wool was traditionally considered less valuable because it can't be dyed different colours. This is a Shropshire sheep. They have no horns. This breed originated from the hills of Shropshire and North Staffordshire in England during the 1840s. They are bred for their wool and meat. In the 1990s, Shropshires were found to be the only breed that would not nibble on conifers or bite off the bark of fruit trees, making them especially popular with Christmas tree farmers. Not only do they keep the grass short, making herbicides unnecessary, but their droppings turned out to be good manure for the saplings. The lambs are very strong and vigorous and grow very quickly. So cute! This eco-friendly, cost-effective, weed-suppressing sheep is used on large plantations in Ireland, Scotland, Scandinavia and Europe. They are able to adapt to all kinds of pasture land and climate. They have wool from the tip of the nose to the tip of the toes. The fleece is dense and elastic to the touch and a very good quality. A 3D puzzle. Let's take a look. It's a sheep. 21 pieces. I'll make that off camera for you. And here we are. There are over 1 billion sheep in the world, most of them being in China. A group of sheep is known as a herd, flock or mob. They like to stay close together, which makes it easy when you want to move them to a new pasture. Sheep have a field of vision of around 300 degrees, allowing them to see behind themselves without having to turn their head. They are herbivores and mainly eat grass. The digestive system of sheep features four chambers which help break down what they eat. Sheep are raised for both their fleece and their meat. The Scottish Blackface Sheep is an attractive, hardy old breed that most likely came from the border of Scotland and England. Monastery records show that the monks in the 12th century raised sheep that were forebears of the modern Scottish blackface breed. Commercially in the UK they are important, with blackface wool just under half the total Scottish wool production. The fleece that the Scottish blackface has today is a result of selective breeding since medieval times from a short coarse wooled ancestor to a much more viable sheep. Some grades of Scottish blackface wool are used in the manufacture of Scottish and Irish tweeds. The Scottish blackface lamb. Blackface ewes are excellent mothers and will defend their offspring against any perceived threat. They are good milkers and are able to produce lambs and a wool clip even when faced with harsh conditions. Overseas, Scottish blackface wool is used in the production of fine carpets. Many of the best Axminster and Wilton carpets are made from this wool. They have also been exported to the United States, Italy and Argentina. This is a Merino ram. A ram is a male sheep. The Australian Merino is bred mostly for its heavy fleeces of fine quality wool. More than 80% of all Australian sheep are pure Merino. 
with most of the remainder being part merino. Today, merinos are still regarded as having some of the finest and softest wool of any sheep. Pole merinos have no horns or very small stumps and horned merino rams have long spiral horns which grow close to their head. The merino sheep. A female sheep is called a ewe. The merino sheep originated in Spain. They are well known for their fine high quality wool. The wool coat on a merino sheep needs to be sheared at least once a year. Merino wool is finely crimped and soft. Wool is a natural fibre and clothes made from wool are fire resistant. Wool and clothes stay cool in summer and warm in winter. <coughs> the Merino Lamb Lambs are born in the spring. Ewes mostly produce single or twin lambs. After the birth, the ewes lick its newborn lamb clean. Most lambs will begin standing within an hour of birth and are able to stand and nurse from their mother. Remember to count the lambs. How many names you can remember? Thank you for watching my video, it really helps if you can share my videos on any of the social media sites that you like to visit. See you again soon.